2nd of August, 1100, King William II and a handful of his men are hunting in the New Forest. William lets fly with an arrow which wounds a stag. As the beast bounded on, another animal broke cover and ran. Another member of the hunting party, Sir Walter Tyrrell, fired an arrow which grazed its back and deflected, hitting the king in the chest. This proved a fatal blow. William's brother Henry wasted no time. While his brother was still warm, he raced with his men directly to secure the treasury at Winchester and then on to London to proclaim himself king. Speculation has forever surrounded this tragic event, making it a medieval murder mystery. Firstly, was the supposed accidental arrow fired by Walter Tyrrell, who was also a highly skilled marksman, really just the assassination of a king so he could be replaced by his ally Henry? After Tyrrell shot the fatal blow, he immediately fled to Normandy, France, and never returned. Neither he nor anyone else that was present at the event was ever punished. In fact, he, his family, and those involved actually prospered under the new king, keeping their lands and titles. Also, Henry's actions after the event seemed very, very suspect. As soon as William hit the ground, Henry made his play for the throne. He left the body of his brother where it lay and made all the steps necessary to secure his prize. Henry rode swiftly to Winchester, where an argument began as to who had claim to the throne. Robert, Duke of Normandy, was away returning from the Crusades. So Henry, supported by powerful allies, convinced the other nobles to his claim. So he occupied Winchester Castle and he seized the treasury. It would seem that Henry's timing was perfect. The exact location of the king's death is not known for sure. The event probably happened in the New Forest near Brockenhurst. An English poet and antiquary named John Leyland, known as the father of English local history in 1530, stated that the location would probably have been in Thurham, a place name which no longer exists, but probably refers to the area of the Bewley estate near Bewley Abbey. A memorial was erected near the area of Bewley Abbey, which commemorates this event. The more widely known location is known as Rufus Stone, which lies off the A31. The location was identified by King Charles II on a visit to the area, proclaiming it as the location where King William Rufus died. A stone monument was erected in this place with inscriptions telling the facts of the historic event. The original stone monument was so defaced by visitors that a metal case was erected over the original stone so as to protect it. This can be visited today. History may never know the truth behind the death of King William Rufus, but the story of this historic murder mystery will continue to fascinate fans of history for many years to come.